else is making a statement, and that is a doctor who is treating families with ADHD. If you maybe have a loved one or a child suffering from ADHD, maybe you know someone who is suffering from ADHD, and perhaps that child is popping uh, prescription drugs, that uh, is something that you can maybe change today. We are going to talk to our next guest. They are here with a natural alternative that works uh, just as well for families. Joining me now is a Dr. Jamie Oskin. He is a naturopathic physician with Arizona Natural Health Center, along with Debbie Sines. She is a mother of one of Dr. Oskin's patients. First off, thanks so much uh, for being with us. For those folks who don't know, what is ADHD? ADHD is one of the most commonly diagnosed children's developmental disorders, and it often has things like hyperactivity, where kids are bouncing off the walls, or they seem like they're driven by a motor, mm -hmm. or it can have other things like inattentiveness, where kids don't have focus. And you have natural ways of treating this because so many children are on prescription drugs and that really is scary for families to think about putting their kids on drugs. Yeah, the best part of my job is that I get to work with kids on a daily basis to help them get better with safe natural medicine. The main treatment we use is homeopathy and the homeopathic medicines on the table uh, are these safe gentle medicines that have been shown in research to be effective for ADHD. And Debbie, I, w I want to talk to you as a mom. You, you, you're sharing that your son was seven years old when you knew something was not quite right. What kind of symptoms was he showing? Well, aggressive behavior, um, not focusing, um, just rage, and just mainly having troubles in school and at home. And it was just affecting the whole family. And what was he put on? He was put on a bunch of different medicines at first, Concerta mm -hmm. and... Uh, Focalin, different different medicines that weren't really working. And these are prescription medications which yes. have side effects. Yes, yes. And what kind of side effects was he dealing with? Well, he hadn't grown in a year. He, he lost his appetite. He had a horrible time sleeping at night. And after a year of not growing, I just knew I had to do something different. And that's where Dr. Oskin steps in. And Dr. Yes. Oskin, I want you to tell me what you prescribed for Debbie and her son uh, two years ago, because he's nine now. So one of the things we use uh, in, in Debbie's son's case is homeopathy, which is this safe natural medicine. And each homeopathic medicine is completely individualized to each child's unique set of symptoms. The best part is it's completely safe, non-toxic, without side effects, and can often be very effective when other treatments have failed. Well, what about just natural foods that we eat? Are, is, there, is there something our children should be eating or should not be eating? Definitely. So another thing we focus on with kids is our natural supplements like fish oils, which are food for the brain, and focusing on really good, healthy diet, like mm -hmm. fresh fruits and vegetables, and avoiding things like processed sugars, artificial food colorings, dyes, and preservatives, which have been linked to hyperactive behavior. Okay, you tried that for your son, Debbie. How's yes. he doing today? He's doing great, and um, night and day difference. It was unbelievable. That's Everybody noticed. So he's, the he's nine years old, mm -hmm. and just being nine and just being a kid, I mean, we're gonna be a little hyper. We we should be right. I mean, our kids should be enjoying life. But what are we? What are, where do we go over the line? Like, what are those signs that we should look for as a parent you that know, says this is not natural childhood behavior? That's a great question. What we're looking for is actually impairment in two settings. So, if kids are not doing well at home and is causing significant problems in school or maybe baseball practice or dance lessons, uh, it's actually interfering with their life where they're not able to fully live up to their potential, now it's a problem and we can help. Okay, so natural foods out there, also uh, just natural homeopathic ways of treating this. If you feel your child is a victim of ADHD and you want to get some help, you want to get some consultation, the Arizona Natural Health Center, it offers a free 15-minute consultation to discuss medical conditions, ranging everything from colds and flus to seasonal allergies, mental health issues, cancer, and complex chronic conditions for children and adults. Arizona Natural Health Center. It is located at 1250 East Baseline Road. That is in Tempe. You can call to make an appointment at 480-456-0402. You will also find advice on helping children with ADHD on their website. That's aznaturalhealth.com. Thank you both for being with us. Thank, Thank you. you.